Mom, you want to go? No. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Commander Craft. Good evening. I'm your host, Will Benson, joined as always by my awesome compatriot playing the worst deck of all time, co host Aramis Perez. Aramis, how are you, sir? You know, really, if we look back at the statistics of it, I think your Omnath deck has a much higher winning percentage than my Zakama deck. Yes, but we've yeah. already established after last week's episode, I cheat. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing was established, sir. <laughs> And joining us tonight, making his return, his triumphant return to the show, your favorite and mine, Steve. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Freshly engaged to a lady this time. <laughs> Congratulations. Not that Not there's that anything wrong with that. <laughs> and joining us as well, we have your favorite and mine, Ian. How are you, sir? Doing well, doing well. How about you guys? Oh, we're wonderful. We're wonderful. So, all right. We've got Vic on standby. He's going to be here uh, if necessary in game two, if we get to a game two. So, uh, it's going to be a great job. It's going to be a great game tonight. Uh, obviously, I am playing Omnath, Locus of Creation. Aramis, I know I kind of buried the lead, but what are you playing this evening? I am bringing back the dinosaur. We're going with Zakama. <laughs> La, 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 la. I actually have that dinosaur. <laughs> Ian, actually, what about you? Dinosaur. What do you got, my friend? I am bringing back Najila, new and improved. Oh, I thought you were bringing something different tonight. Ah, It, it wasn't finished. I, ah. I didn't realize that I was still missing a, quite a few cards out of it, so ah, very I had good. to scrap it. And Steve, how about you, my friend? I'm playing Ozgear. Nice. <laughs> this will be interesting alright so uh, for those of you who may not understand what commander is commander is a uh, 4 player multiplayer we play 100 cards uh, with no card can be other than basic land only one card in the deck so 100 individual cards uh, other than that it's pretty much go until we win so and the championship deck has to play until it loses or wins 3 times so alright so we are going to rotate now and find out how many times I rotate the screen to see who goes first. Five. Oh, this will end well. Did we already Randomizing like order. Once. Random twice. Ooh. No. Three. Ooh. Four. And no. five. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So good luck to everybody. As you guys saw, right. shuffle on screen, right? I guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you know, if you just, you know, like, you know, you know. Oh, that's one crap. I'm going to be keeping my opener. Uh oh, guys, that's a, not a good tone of keeping my opener either. Yeah. We we are we got we got issues. <laughs> I mulliganed once. I don't know about you, Steve. No, I'm keeping. All right. I had to mulligan until I got mana. And all... Nice to see you, Victor. And yes, the, the, the three-headed dinosaur is a good one. Victor, no, you are not rooting for Zakama. Do you want to play <laughs> Zakama, Vic? Aren't you on standby, sir? <laughs> you, nobody wants to play Zakama. Dog, I I, all right, guys, no, what do you think? Dog pile, dog pile on the dinosaur, right? <laughs> uh, judging from my opening hand, you're all going to dogpile me. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Sean. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> Welcome back, Steve. <laughs> yeah. My my first game back in a while and I have a I have a pretty uh it's a, both a good and a terrible opening simultaneously. Like if you interact with me before my second turn, I'm pretty fucked. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not well, gonna be me for sure. Good luck, everybody. 
Uh, and Aramis, I guess uh, I guess we all have. Oh wait, Ian, you're keeping right. I don't have any gas though. Yeah, That's I can. Kind of my Dino two point oh. And tonight I'm drinking yet more of Greenpoint Beer and Ale White Boy Summer, complete with Kavanaugh and McDonald Cruz. I just love this beer. It tastes fantastic. By the way, they're putting their heads on dragons. <laughs> well, like one's like on a Charizard. I see that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's Dragonite. It's amazing. Yeah. And it was really good have... on yeah. Monday. Like when I drank that's this, I was like, Ooh, "That's tasty." So, all right. So, everybody's keeping. Yes. All right. So, I'll oh, kick it I off. have the sun's avatar. I thought I had Zakala, but no. So I will draw for turn. Play command power and pass. Ooh, no Draw soul ring. Azorius Killgate, my turn. I will draw. I will play a planes, and then I will cast a Mishra's Bauble and a Lion's Eye Diamond, and I will crack Lion's Eye Diamond for red, uh, discarding my hand, which will be Cosmos Elixir, Ritual Restoration, Tashar, Ancient Den, and a planes, casting my commander. And I will pop the Bauble. Uh, I'm going to look at the top card of your deck, Aramis. Oh, this mm. is going to be the card I draw during Will's turn. Okay. I guess I will, um, well, you get to see, I don't get to see that, right? You no, get you don't. I get to, yeah, I get to look at it. All right. So I have to block a couple people. One second, guys. Just going to block you real quick. The user has blocked you. I feel so dirty. Like that. Okay. Nice. Got it. And then does yep. it go back on top? Goes back on top. Okay. I can't I can't change where it goes. I just get to see it. All right. Unblock. Unblock. Believe me, if I could not put that on top of your library, I would be putting that on the bottom. <laughs> All right. All I'm right. Kind of uh, hopeful to see I'm what it done. is. Empty handed. During Will's upkeep, I draw with him. I mean that was pretty that was a pretty fantastic. That was pretty first fucking trip. busted is what that was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we said no EDH, Steve. <laughs> well, L I mean, LED without Yogmoss will isn't isn't so bad. But yeah, I know you. I know you can get it back. Yeah, Ozgear is great. I like that. Turn. You're all set. Yeah. Power right. and toughness. I will draw. Yeah, keep my I discarded my whole hand. Oh, that is a good what's, one. What's Osgar's, uh Hover like? over his uh, the commander's oh, name on on, uh, oh, on, oh, on on Steve's oh, screen. You can see what he does. Uh, I'm gonna play a forest. I'm gonna cast a mana crypt. Ooh, that I'm was his top card. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tap two and cast far seek. Get myself a land here. That's not forest. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, Apollo, you can. That's why we do it inside the Discord. If you want to hop in, hop in. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm gonna get a stomping ground. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Hey, hey! Shuffle. How's everyone uh, night going tonight? Good going, all right. A risky start for me, but going all right. What was that crazy turn one I just witnessed? I, I missed yeah, half of it. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Is what uh, it was. I lion's eye diamond and Mishra's baubles. Uh, and a planes, I basically use Lion's Eye Diamond to discard my hand and add three mana of any color to my mana pool. It's basically Black Lotus with a downside. Uh, so I added three red, played my commander, cracked the Mishra's Bauble, so I got to draw a card at the beginning of Will's turn and yeah, look at the top card of Aramis's deck. Which ended up being a Mana Crypt. Yeah. Oof. Which I was kind of happy about, to be honest. <laughs> Um, that's going to be my turn because the um, stomping ground comes in tap no matter what. All right, Scoop, uh, you're up, buddy. Draw for turn. Untap. <clears throat> Temple of Plenty. And then tap. Strat one. So the uh, Modern Horizons collector boosters are pretty lit. They are. Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Are you done with that, that, sir? That's my turn. Um, All right, I will untap and draw. I haven't Pretty opened any. Sketch I have talk. not been able to open Modern Horizons. I, I will had... play a Welding Jar. Uh-oh. I'm going to go to Combat, and I'm going to attack Aramis for four. Yay. I'm going to go to second main phase. I'm going to tap him for zero. 
making two copies of Ancient Den. So I'm going to put this one in Exile, and I'm just going to put two cards face down over here for Ancient Dens. And then I'm going to pay, in my second main phase, two for a Mindstone and pass my turn. God damn. That was an epic-ass turn, too. I have no get cards in hand it. still. Get used to it, children. This is a welcome. Hey, to I'm not playing Thrasios Timna. Would you rather Thrasios Timna? No, turn. Because okay. I would have won already. <laughs> uh, beginning my upkeep. Um, I mean, Steve, since you attacked me, I guess you can call the odds or evens. Uh, I'm gonna call odd. It is odd. Yay. I will take three. Going down to oh, thirty-three. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw for turn. Nice. I will play a planes. I'm going to tap six mana. I shouldn't have kept this hand. I've got no room. Um, I'm going to cast Regal Behemoth. Ooh, good. And I will become the Monarch. All right, you're the Monarch. It's a uh, six six. Five five. Five five. Okay. And then, um, whenever I tap a land from mana while I'm the Monarch, I add one mana of any color in my mana pool, in addition to the <laughs> mana that land produces. Get rid of that card. <laughs> so I'm gonna end my turn and draw a card because I am the monarch. Wait, so the monarch draws a card at the end of their turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. the The deck I'm using, I'm, I'm trying to build. It's a Grixis chaotic deck. It deals. It has a lot of monarch style cards. Nice. I'm all sad after that. Your turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're good. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Untap. I will play. Cultivate. Works for me. I will play Megamorph. Play this face down as a 2 2 creature. Mm. <clears throat> Be nice. I will untap and draw. I will play a land. And I will go to combat. And I'm going to attack Will for four. Sure. Nothing I can do. Yep. Second main phase. I'm going to activate Osgear, pay four. And I'm going to get Cosmos Elixir. So that is exiled. And I'm going to have two copies of Cosmos Elixir. I'm just going to keep these underneath the cards that they're representing. So if anyone has any questions, because I'm going to have a lot of these. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to go to my... Yes. I was going to say, at your end step, so you're going to gain two yes. life and draw one card. Correct. So my end step, I gain two, and then I draw a card. That's my turn. Okay. Diddy. Hey. Yes, Jamie. Osgear seems to be a pretty strong commander. <laughs> He's pretty yeah, solid. this is a Osgear is very solid. This is already yeah, the game is pretty much very very solid. Just to put Ramanop Excavator out, turn. Yeah, one tap. Uh, Will call Audrey Evans. Evans. It is odd. There you go. Okay, I'll drop a turn. Yeah. Dog pile on Steve, I think. <laughs> I, yeah, I did say that. I was like, after my opening turn, I'm pretty sure it's dog pile on me. Play a forest. Have 12 mana. <clears throat> I'm going to float. What am I floating? Um, I'll float three green. Actually, I have a green thing right here. Float three green. Zakama. Any responses? Oh, no uh, response. oh yeah, your your other guy doubles your green mana, right? Doubles all my mana. All oh, yeah, mana. Yep, yeah, shit. That's yeah, nothing I can do about that. All my lands. Um, yeah. So let's blow up some yeah, artifacts. Not... Yep, that means I'm probably dead. <laughs> so this this is why I figured I wasn't gonna be doing anything this game. He's playing Zakama. <laughs> as soon as he gets it out, I, I'm dead. Let's see. I'm gonna spend. Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen mana. Actually, yes, this, this, 
Sakama's actually a card that belongs in my dino deck, but I can't. Yeah, you need Sakama. Gishoth actually is also a better. I think Gishoth's a better commander personally. Oh, but actually, let me see. Two, four, six. Two, four, seven. Okay, no, I'm not. No, I'm not quite there yet. Okay. Um, I'm I think I'm gonna, I want to do this. These headphones suck. He's basically a. 9-9 nine, nine Planeswalker that you can attack with and use multiple abilities. Right. Yeah. <laughs> GG's. Okay, yeah, so that's just like it. If he gets to together. come out before turn 6, you're pretty much... No, I, well, I'm the one very most dead. I can't yeah. play anymore. <laughs> it's like he... I'm going my to stuff's use... Gone. Let's see. Damn. I'm going to pay two red and a green. Okay. I'm going to destroy your welding jar. In response, I'm going to sacrifice it and regenerate. Okay. So it's got one trigger of regenerate on one Cosmos Elixir. I'm going to spend six mana to kill your commander. Okay. Jeez. And I'm going to spend... The last four mana. How many cards are in your hand, Steve? One. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go for this play. I'm going to spend the last four mana and cast Team or Sabretooth. Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm going to go to combat and attack Steve for five. Yep. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. I'd like to know for the record, I have not ramped yet. I have I have literally just been like land. Land. Swap for turn. Oh fuck, I played Damn it! I played the wrong. Alright, it's cool. I can recover. I can recover. Uh Steve, you do you have any creatures out? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> the more appropriate question is, Steve, do you have anything out? <laughs> I have lands. I know. He's got artifacts. And cosmos elixirs. Two cosmos oh, yeah. elixirs, which is pretty good. Yeah, but I'm not going to get any value out of them. So. You got some already. You got a card and some life, and you can gain some more life. Yeah, but it's not enough. I need cards. I was kind of surprised when you were sitting there card. going, I don't know. I've got cards to counter programs. Come on, like. Dude, I do. Them. I just didn't have them. But if you? I had it, <laughs> if if I had the card for Zakama, you know, the cards for Zakama, it wouldn't. I wouldn't be having an issue. But I, let, I don't I, have them. And I'm just gonna throw this out there. Like, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure Aramis, had you not come out so heavy and hard, Aramis would have been like Benson, 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 Benson. But you came no. out so heavy. <laughs> My hand could only go heavy. That was the problem. It was all in or nothing. You you had a very explosive start. So I mean, oh, it was, yeah. The only the only reason mine was, was as explosive coming. as it was was honestly because of the mana crypt on the top. Yep. Pass turn. Yep. Oh, I will tap and draw. N Najila's on the field. Oh damn. Okay. She didn't do nothing, so leave her alone. Okay. All right. I'm gonna pay three for an Archaeomancer's map. I'm going to go get two planes. Did it say basic planes? Or just, yeah, it's yeah, uh, it say basic planes. Basic planes Shit. cards, yeah. Why does it got to say basic? I can't say non-basic. Yeah, because they're like, you're not getting plateaus with those. Sorry. Yeah, I, I would grab a plateau and a, a sacred foundry. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, these are white fixing cards, so they don't acknowledge the existence of other colors. It's true. It's true. Well, right. Aramis, uh, how are you going to spend your plan. championship round? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a Goblin here. Engineer and go search my deck for an artifact to put it into the graveyard. I will put... I don't think I have any artifacts that get me out of this, so... We'll just pick something that's just value if I can ever get the chance to get it out. Uh, Norn's Annex. And I will pass my turn. I All right. To Untap. Yeah. Into being a monitor. Oh, well. I gain four. Upkeep and draw. <clears throat> All 
Well, let's put an island down. Hmm. <clears throat> it's fine, but it's too. Shit. Because I don't have the ancient den. That's just representing them. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be my turn, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I will untap. Yeah, Aramis, you got this board nice and locked down right now. <laughs> Ian, call odds or evens. Even. It is even. I take three. Y'all need to learn how to call it. I'm kidding. Ah, Steve did it. I was the only one who failed. <laughs> yeah, Benson. Come on. Let's see. You have infinite mana now, right? Not quite. Almost. I actually need one more land. Mm. So I'm going to do some setting up. I'm going to pay six for Sunbird's Invocation. Oh, jeepers. Yep. Is that the one that causes everything to come in tap? No, that's nope. how whenever I cast a spell from my hand, I reveal the top X cards where X is that spell's converted mana cost. I can cast a card revealed this way. With converted mana cost X or less without paying its mana cost. <laughs> In other words, we're getting ready, boys and girls. We're almost off to the races. <laughs> I'm going to pay four and cast Harmonize. That's going to trigger the Sunbird's Invocation. So I reveal the top four cards of my library. Zerda the Dawn Waker, Smothering Tithe, Marari's Wake, and Wakening Sun's Avatar. I will cast Zerda Dawn Waker. And then he's get put back on the bottom in a random order. So I next turn you have infinite. And then I, I draw all three cards from the harmonize. <laughs> Let me know when you play a land, because then I get to play a land. I play a forest. I, I play a land. <laughs> I I I I play a land. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Um, Steve, I'll attack you for 14. Begging it. Nine of it's commander. Um, keep that mana open. And I will end my turn and draw a card for being the monarch. All right. Untap. Draw. Forest for turn. I will play Sasuke, son of Sashiro. Other snakes I control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever a warrior I control deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at the end of combat. Oh, nice. Technically, it's not death touch. But it is. That'll be my turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack Mind Stone to draw a card. Untap. Draw. Not good enough. GG. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna shock myself for Sacred Foundry. I'm gonna pay four for uh, Sanctum Gargoyle to take an artifact from my graveyard and put it into my hand. Uh, I'll take the Mind Stone, play it, and crack it again with tapping the rest of my mana to draw a card. Passing my turn. Well, let's see if I draw anything worthwhile. Untap, upkeep, draw. Well, that's not useful at all. Uh, planes. And... I could cast my commander, but what's the point? Turn. Yeah, well, um, on Here your comes infinite end, mana! <laughs> on your end step, Will, I'm going to pay four green mana. I'm going to destroy the two cosmo cosmos elixirs and the two cup and the two ancient dens yo tap 
do you call it? Odd. It is even. I will draw. And let's see. Oh. I'm going to pay two green, activate Teamer's Habertooth. Actually, I pay one green because the cost is reduced because of Zerta. And returns a comment to my hand. Yep. Green is floating. I'll tap all of my lands. Two, four, six, ten. Keep the Mana Crypt untapped for now. So I'm going to have um, two... Two floating? Two floating mana. Cast the comma. That's Sunbird. gonna trigger Sunbird's invocation. Yup. Yup. Go to top nine cards. Oh god. You can pretty much cast this whole deck. Yeah. Six. Seven. Oh eight, Jesus. Nine. You can't play Galta. The only thing I can cast is Hwatley. So I'll cast Hwatley. Yeah, no kidding, Vic. <laughs> GG. Get ready, Vic. You're coming in for somebody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're all dead. I, think I mean, this is infinite. Yeah, I it is infinite. Do you, do you have you, Terror but... of the Peaks in your deck? I don't have Terror of the Peaks, but I have a way to give everything haste. Okay. So, so if you're Terror cool. of the Peaks, you're just going to just smack us with Zakama over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. So um, I'm going to repeat that loop. And every time I do that, I'm going to get two more mana. And you're also going to get nine cards in your deck. Nine cards flipped over and cast one of them. Nine or less. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> the only one I can cast, honestly, is, is either the boots for the Rishkar's expertise. What's Rish um, what does Rishkar's do? I'm, it's going to uh, draw, draw nine cards. cards. Well, he does. Uh, Zakama's not in play yet. He's on the stack. Oh, so, so five if cards? I, if I cast it, I'll draw five cards. And then I can cast something with mana cost five or less for my hand without paying its cost. Which I will do that. So I can put these on the bottom. And then draw five cards. Draw five cards. Sure you don't want me to play Thrasios? <laughs> I, had a, I had kind of a crazy draw. Yeah, no, um, I know. Well, Once I'm I saw gonna... the mana crypt, I was like, we're probably dead. I'm just going to do the asshole move. I'm going to Teferi's Protection now, so at the very least I get a turn. There you go. <laughs> hey, spread that love around. <laughs> uh, I will cast... So he can't go forever. <laughs> he has to eventually stop. <laughs> for free. What can I cast for free? I'm going to cast Circuitous Route for free, and that's going to trigger Sunbird's Invocation. One, two, three... Four. Um, I'll cast Kodama's Reach in response. So yeah, I'm I get, get to play a land. Oh, it's not a land. Can't play I get it. Three <laughs> lands into play. And one into my hand. And Zakama's already out, right? Not yet. This is all still in response. Can you Oh, uh, cast... why three lands? Wait, wait, wait. So you can cast oh, things at instant crap. speed that are sorcery? It's the. It's the resolution of the Sunbird's invocation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then the Sunbird's comes in, everything untaps, and now I'm going to have a lot getting, of extra mana each time. Yeah, I have now infinite now mana. you're getting six yeah. extra mana. I can cast, yeah. but I can ba I'm basically going to end up going through my entire deck. Right. So I can keep going, but... Although you have to finish protection, so I can't kill you, so I kind of have to. Yeah, exactly. You can kill them, but I can't... Do you have anything in your game that just... Anything in your deck that just straight up says you win the game? Nothing like that, no. Why don't you have approach in there? You I know, right? <laughs> Put approach in your deck. It's just like an insta win at the point like this. I actually didn't own an approach until, until very recently. So now the comma enters. Don't even know if I played a land this turn, but I don't think it matters. 18, so tap out, spend one of it to bounce the comma. So let's see, it's eight. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 17. So when I cast this, I'm going to have an additional 8 mana floating. And Sunbirds. And that's going to do Sunbirds again. So that's how much mana right now? 14 mana? 14. 12, 12 mana. Eight, oh, yeah, 12. 
There are 12 men floating right now. And I'm going to sunbirds again. So let's get like that. It's in various combinations of colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, seven, the reason I did that, guys, eight, is I'm just hoping nine. for some sort of board wipe in my deck. That's it. I've got to read your alpha after that. <laughs> Get a three three dino. Get a dinosaur token and my dinosaurs have haste. <laughs> These go on the bottom. Victor's like Will is safe. <laughs> the only spell The oh, only spell that can get someone out of this. Yeah, well that's just it. I was like, woohoo, Teferi's protection. It's bad I'm not playing my uh, Thrasios deck, then I'd have my own Teferi's Protection. Well, and I remember when I opened it, you're like, you guys can't bitch anymore, you have Teferi's Protection. It's like, that's what that's for. I'm going to repeat the loop again, get eight more mana. Ian, if you're talking, we're not hearing you, brother. So I think he's round. taking a nap. I'm just chilling. Oh. Oh, okay, because I see green lights. So It's a good game of Solitaire we're seeing here. Yeah, I know. This is literally yeah, like, hey, oh, do you have Nexus of Fate in there shit. by any chance? Yeah. Bloom Ancient. I do, yeah. <laughs> Here's the next Bloom Ancient. Oh, my land's tap for four. God damn it. Like, this deck is actually really um, good, but I don't get oh, to yeah, play anything. So, like, yeah, like, Aramis, so what are you going to do? Are you going to swing? You only get one combat. Yeah, I get one combat, so. Until he gets um, whatever that morgue thing is. Right. That that guy who gives extra combats for each land. Do you have Morag in there? Nope, I don't own one. Oh shit, dude! I got three. So of I can them. kill. I, I can one. kill everybody except for everybody except for Will. At, at this point, eventually. Um. So now everything taps for four. Oh wait, I'm gonna oh, step six, away eight. and kick my cable modem out. I'll be right back. <laughs> thirty-six, thirty-five, minus nine. So that's gonna add another twenty-six mana. Jesus Christ, Aramis! Why don't you just tell us what you're looking for? <laughs> I have what because because um, I'm going through and not drawing extra cards. I know, I and know. I have to put the other cards on the bottom. So cast it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I have an arbitrarily large amount of mana at this point. <laughs> Smothering tide, anyone? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not from my hand, but I guess I'll cast Awakening Sun's Avatar. Uh, it gives them all double strike, right? No, it destroys all no. non-dinosaur creatures if I cast it from my hand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't count for that. Oh, there's a tall I guess I'll cast that. Oh, my creatures are dead? No. They're still alive. I mean, we will kill them once they're gone. Yeah. So we're better just put them in the graveyard. Uh He's pretty yeah, much going to wipe your you entire boards and swing in at you. Pass into car resurgent. Jesus. All right, so now all my lands have for five. Please. Oh, yes. that's fun. Be and now whenever I cast a creature spell, I draw right, a card. Everybody, all right, you guys, you need to think at this card. This needs to be a board wipe of some sort. Give me a basic land. A board wipe. That's all you, you have to Basically, flip it. You can't draw yeah. it. You have to flip it. I can flip it. You got to flip it. I can. And then we can it. go. Oh boy, lightning helix. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's lightning helix. Uh, I'll cast. Guy shroud claim. I guess. Get two more forest cards. So I just put them here. Get more mana. He was just blocked you. Will is safe. I just showed I just showed Ian and guys. <laughs> no good though. <laughs> I need one more. And that's also gonna that's also <laughs> no, it doesn't, that doesn't count. Why you gotta right slam the top card over. Yeah, I know. I was hoping though. I was like <laughs> So repeat the loop this time I draw a card first. And then I go through the nine. Yeah, you know what, Aramis? It's that's my top card. So, what's I'll, your top? I card? will scoop. Is is it Boilerworks? Okay. It's not gonna do any good. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think we're fair to say you win. <laughs> I had to undo inversion in my hand, but I was like, I need a, a lesser powerful board wipe. <laughs> that, that's the thing. I was I was digging for um digging for heroic intervention. Oh. Oh, it wants. Oh, this way you couldn't lose. <laughs> but I couldn't lose. Oh, uh, see, Chroma's vengeance out. would have been helpful. <laughs> yeah, I got quite a few in here, so. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to switch decks? Do I have any decks ready? I could play the dog deck. Oh, so, all right. So I promised Vic, since he's also a, uh, a spot. So, Ian, do you mind giving up your slot? If we play game three, I'll rotate you back in. Steve never gets to play with us. And this is pretty much going to last week for a while. <laughs> do you mind sitting out for game two? Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, Vic. Are you there? He's typing. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. All right, oh, you I got a deck ready to go? Right. Yeah, I got my Essex Fractal Bloom deck done. All right, cool. Nice. So, Scoop, if you don't mind, man, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kick you out, and then we'll let Vic join. Vic, you're in the. Oh, are you in our? Yeah, you're in our channel. All right, so. Where is the link again? Holy it's up crap, top. It's it. three up on the in the uh, Commander Craft uh, next up channel. Ah, there it is. And I am signing in. Blah blah. I mean, blah. I, the one thing is that I did actually. I was open to be interacted with a couple of turns after yeah. I cast the comma because I was setting up. Yeah, I had no interaction whatsoever, other than a negate. I did have a negate, but I'm like, what the hell good is that going to do me? <laughs> yeah, because I, I would still, like, if you, you would have had to have negated the Sunbird's Invocation. Yeah, which I didn't have at that turn. I got it to turn right. on my turn. I love that play, Matt. Why so salty? That's love great. It. Ian, are you still hanging out? Did Ian leave? Oh, he didn't have to leave. Oh, I hope he's not upset. I would have been. Okay. All right. So, what are you playing, Vic? What's your commander? Essex Fractal Bloom. All right. So you got to set it. And Steve, you got to reset your scores and make sure no commander damage and all that. Yo. Commander damage there. All right. So it's dogpile on Steven Zakama, and yeah. As if I go off, I just happen to have lines I diamond. In my I mean, I, I went off. Oh shit! I had a, I had a, I had a quick <laughs> Guys, I almost off. forgot to put that back in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not have that in your opening hand now. now i don't have my jeweled lotus or my uh lines i diamond in this opener so Vic, go ahead and mute yourself on spell table oh shit yeah I think all I right can do there it. we go yeah, that's better. all right i mean i had i had a hand that was good if i drew if i drew well and i drew very well uh, rotating five times again here we go I want to stay One, here. Two, <laughs> I want to be not last. Four. And yeah, five. leave it. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> ah, I'm second. All right. And you're last, Mage, because you didn't want to be. Essex, that's the next deck I'm building. Nice. I, I ended up getting lucky. I went to Target to find that, uh, to get the commander deck that had the uh, Avengers of Zendikar in it. And I got less because they had it for like twenty five dollars at Target, and it's like forty bucks online. Nice. Yeah, that's a good deal. All right. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, I got lucky a couple of times with my local Target. They had collector booster boosters labeled at the regular booster pack prices. Oh uh, yeah, dude, I, I got I got, got Time stickers. Spiral remastered a three pack for seventeen dollars. Nice. I was I, like, because I, I got the um, Zendikar collector boosters for three dollars a pack. So my next commander is going to be Sliver. <laughs> yeah, my next commander. I'm thinking about where I should add this guy. I pulled this from Modern Horizons. Uh, Ooh. I haven't even touched Torak. Modern Horizons yet. I I bought a pre-release at uh, what's it called? What Kerwin's? Cool. Best card I drew out of my uh, out of my box was an old frame Verdant Catacombs. Nice. I'm keeping. I'm, I'm keeping. keeping mine. Hey. Ooh, All right. Good luck, everybody. Oh wait, we're waiting. I will. Deck. I will keep. Okay. 
I'm, also, I'm also the dog pile on Aramis still. <laughs> Force pass. Draw. I'll play a planes, pay one for an expedition map. Pass. Good effort. Mystic Sanctuary tap. Turn. All right. Draw. All right. Uh, Conjures Campus tapped. Pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. Play Sunpetal Grove. Tap two. For Steve. Go, oh, Steve. Fuck. I will untap and draw. I will play a Sun Home. I'll play a Mishra's Bauble. I will pay two. Crack this and the Bauble. I'm going to go get a land from my deck. Where is Plateau? Plateau. And uh, I'm going to look at your uh, the top of your deck again, Aramis. All right. I want to see how messed up <laughs> we are. I'm in danger. When you sacrifice Steve, we're in a better spot. So I'm going to block you two for a second. There's top card. Wait, hold on. Okay. Got it. All right. Yep. And he didn't sound as excited about that one. Maybe I'm trying to hide that one. Oh. Uh, and Matt does put in player in my hand. hand. Okay. I'm done. All right. Untap. Upkeep. I draw with you. Hmm. All right. Naya Panorama. Turn. On tap, Again, up, no draw. Ramp. No fucking ramp, dude. <clears throat> All right. I will play forest, and then I will tap two to play Leaf Kindred and pass. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to... Steve's going to fall on his sword. Yeah, Bye, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Good. I didn't like the card on top of your deck. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, like, it was you, um, you don't have to me. Never call. Mind. It was call. The one where you can search for a creature from your deck. Oh, Ella Damry's call? Yeah. Okay. Everyone! I don't want you to get any of your mana doublers or triples or quadruplers. You know, now that they're doing triplers, you know their next step is quadruplers. Yeah, there's only, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I think that card's probably five quadruplers. Cast. No, by then, uh, Power Creep will be so bad it'll be four mana. <laughs> If if it's in your if it's in your opening deck, you may begin with it in play. Yeah. Will and Aramis, Aramis, Aramis. congratulations. Congratu Thank you. I'm gonna reset that. <laughs> Where three mana spells are gonna be too expensive. <laughs> Eventually, it's just gonna become Yu-Gi-Oh. Everything. Gets and boom goes, goes the dynamite. dynamite. Tap and draw. Two. Play planes. Tap four. For circuitous route. Oh god damn it. And I will pass. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Done anything meaningful, and he's going to town. I'm still a little ways from being able to do that, though. Maybe more ramp. Maybe one or two, two turns. Miles. That's it. And then I can do it. <laughs> Go on ahead there, Steve. All right. I will untap and draw. I will play a plateau and I will pay three, four. Um, between these two, I know I want to play one. I don't know which one first. Uh, no, thousand year elixir. Oh, that's nice. my turn. You passed, you said? Yep, I'm done. Oh, Jesus, this is just a bad horror. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a nice card. I have that in my other deck, in my two lane deck that I'm working on. Crucible. Turn. Ah, oh, lands from the graveyard. Nice. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play an island. Then I will tap. <laughs> I will tap a green and a blue to play Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy. Nice. Ooh, I like her. 
I do too. Good card. And then I will tap two more to play Gnarled Colony. Sweet. And pass. Okay, I will untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. All right. And I'll play we got six mana. And play Atali Primal Storm. Damn. That's fun. Yes. And pass the turn. That one end horribly at all. Hey, if uh, uh, anyway, anyone has a way to deal two damage to it, I can deal four damage to it. Huh. And it doesn't have to be at my turn. I have instant speed. I just saying. Right now. Okay. I'll pass. Uh, I got nothing. Okay. Then I'm not going to hold back then. I'm going to untap and draw. All right. I'm going to play a planes. We'll pay four for my commander. I will tap my commander for casting Mishra's Bauble from my graveyard. I will get two Mishra's Baubles. Uh, I'm going to look at the top card of uh, Aramis and... Yeah, I'll look at yours, Will. I'll block Will and I'll block Pick. Top card. Oh, fun. Okay. It's not good. It's not good at all. Oh. Second main phase, I'm going to play a welding jar. There's okay, one. that's not too bad. That's not that bad. Does it stay on the top? I can, live, I can live with that. Yeah, it stays on top. I can't change to where it goes. I can only see what it is. It's just information. Uh, I'm going to pass my turn after that. All right. With Will's upkeep, I'm going to draw two cards. Tap, upkeep, draw. It is too bad that you can only do that once with Oz gear. Um, thousand year elixir. I can. Untap I mean, it. I mean, I mean, like the bauble itself. Oh yeah. Well, I, I have uh, two different bauble, baubles in here. Uh oh. So you have the um. I have the Urza's bauble also. Urza's bauble. Okay. Yeah, I have a, a lot of little cantrippy um artifacts that are like one or two mana and zero. Wait, that'll be my turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got I'm, I, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right. On tap, upkeep, draw. <sighs> I'm getting my top card ready because I know it's going to be yours. Nothing I can do about it. All right. I will tap three. Yeah, do I want to do this? Don't. To play Champion of Wits. Good card. Good I'm going to. I am going to draw two cards. And then I'm going to discard two. So I'm going to discard. Splitting Image. And. Novji and Heart of Progress. And then I'm going to play Simic Growth Chamber, bouncing an island back to my hand. Okay. Uh, and then I will pass. All right. All right. I want tap. Hey, guys. Nick! Nick. What's up, buddy? I was wondering oh. where the hell you've been. Yeah, I need a little more. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Oh, shit. And I will... I'm oh, shit. attacking I f- Vic. I fucked up. Me. Damn it. Yeah, I did fuck up. So, odds I'm attacking you, Steve. Evens I'm attacking you, Will. Okay. Odd. So, uh, Steve, Atali's coming at you. Attack trigger. Exile the top card of each player's oh, library shit. and cast cards, <laughs> non-land cards this way without paying their mana cards. <laughs> On to inversion. Uh, Quandra wipe the... <laughs> Cultivator. Want to wipe the board, Aramis? <laughs> I don't think he does. I think he likes Atali. I do like Atali. Fish flavor for its basic force or island. Put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle. I'm definitely casting the Quandra's Cultivator. Yeah, I don't believe uh... there. Ancient Den. And so I don't get that. I don't get the forest that I, that I revealed. He's in exile, right? Yeah, that goes exile. Okay. You uh, get the so Quandrix can... Commander. 
Yep, so let me get a forest. Wait, what is that you cast for him from him? Wanderer's Cultivator. Let me check it. Hold on. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest or island, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. No, I'll allow it. Not that I can do anything about it. I just wondered. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm sorry, man. It's it's tough. <laughs> I got three patrons. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want to cast... Do I want to cast the Undo Inversion? I do wish Spell Table could, like... Well, it would wipe Actually, you know what? You know what? I can't. Why? Because I already cast this Cultivator. I have to do it in turn order. Oh. Or no, no, I get to choose, I get to choose all of it. It's all one resolution. Right. You may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying the mana cost. Yeah. Part of the resolution. Um, it would wipe all of his artifacts. I can just sacrifice... No, it wouldn't. I can sacrifice my Welding Jar to keep Thousand Year alive. Yeah. You'd only get rid of my Ozgear, really. And a bunch of everybody else's stuff, and then my own stuff. And my cruiser, um, yeah, right? I guess uh, I guess I won't cast the uh, undo inversion. That can stay exiled. Okay. Uh, and then uh, second main. Let's have one and. So Nick, when do you graduate? Green. Oh, sorry. And I will cast Galta Primal Hunger. Oh, oh. God dang it! Oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. I'm gonna reinterpret that because I want to cast Nick's Bloom Agent. <laughs> Interpret. What does that do again? I can counter target spell. Yeah, and then I may cast a spell with an equal or lesser mana value from my hand without paying its mana cost. Nice. Oh. If, uh, if everything goes right, I should be out one of the nights. Oh, cool. Uh, are you done after that, Armas? Uh, yeah, I'm done after that. Right, I was saving it for Zakama, that. guys, but I, again, Nyx Bloom. What, yeah. Draw. All right, uh, I'm going to pay three for uh, Quick Smith Genius. I will play a Needle Verge Pathway on the red. I got to consider what I'm doing here. I think I just passed here. Yeah. I just passed here. Alright. Here comes Omnath. Untap. Well, I need a white, white mana. Oh. Tap. He's got 12 okay. mana, but not the right Draw. color. No white mana. No white mana. No white mana. I oh. Uh, oh. Uh, or it was I in his hand already. I, had it. I, I technically could have tapped the Naya Panorama for three. Yeah. Um. Alright, let's see here. So let's do this. If tap twelve, you get eight right. Yeah, mana I get twelve, left right? Over. It gets me twelve mana, right? Yep. All right. So with the first, oh, it goes in reverse order. Yes. Okay. So my commander. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and play Oracle of Moldiah. Well, you draw, you draw a card off of Omnath's trigger first. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, sorry. And then... And then I, part of your library is revealed if that resolves. Yes, it does. Oh. Ristic study. Ristic study, ah. <laughs> oh. And then I will He's play... Four mana left. Four mana left. I'm going to go ahead and play Omnath, Locus of the Royal. Uh, you got three elementals. So I get to do two damage. damage. Steve, can you still do damage to Atali? You got it's three. Yes, it's, it's three damage you get to deal because you have three elementals. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm um, gonna do uh, three yeah. damage to Atali. Just FYI. And you need me to do the rest. Yep. Boros Charm, deal four damage to it. Boros oh, wait, Charm, no, they're can't. indestructible. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't touch it. Oh, never mind. It's the player or planeswalker. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Right. Oh well, I'm still yeah. gonna do well. Yeah, well, it has to be done that way. So yeah, it sucks. Yeah. All right. Um, 
know why I thought I could hit creatures with Boros Charm. I'm then going to go ahead and play... You already played a land for turn. Oh, yeah, but yeah. extra land drop because of, uh, because Oracle. of the um, Oracle. Gruel, uh, Gruel Turf for turning Mystic Sanctuary to my hand. Right, so you have four mana. Yep. Which is only four mana. I cannot use that. So I have five counting the Naya Panorama. You have seven counting the Naya Panorama. Ooh. Yes, you're right. <laughs> But it's colorless, but only, which sucks, yeah. Yeah, that's three colorless, yeah. I yeah. mean, you could pop it to get two more lands, you have six more mana next turn. Mm-hmm. Although you you probably want to save your landfall triggers. Hmm. Let's go ahead and spend a green and a blue. Well, don't forget to gain your four life. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, no, you don't. you don't get mana. Why not? Because that land you played is the first you're right, land. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, thank you. I was kind of you wondering gained a You gained the life, yeah. Yes. So I was like, wait a minute, why didn't he gain life? That's why. Yeah, yeah I was just looking at that too. No, he played two lands. He played the planes first and then the Gruel Turf. Yeah, but he, 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 played, he played the planes, planes before. Oh, right. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So then I should, I can't, yeah, I can't even tap that for the mana. Right. You don't have You don't have the way to, to wait, a way to do that. No. Hmm. You probably should have tapped that um, to float. I should have. Well, I still can do this. Three mana, three colorless, swift foot. There you go. Put swift foot on Omnath to protect him. There you go. Now we need a board wipe. <laughs> and... I'm going to leave him... I don't know. I feel like I should do four damage to somebody. But you know what? We're all kind of... Aramis is going to go off next turn, so... I, I will... I don't have enough mana. <laughs> pass... The... Oh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, put a 1-1 counter on target elemental I control. Let's put a 1-1 counter on... The... Yeah, let's put it on Omnath. Make him also a 5-5. Five five. And that'll be my turn. On your end step, I'm going to tap Leafkin for one green, tap Zimone. Yeah, don't forget, to put... Atali took three damage, so if you got a way to do damage now, that's a good thing. <laughs> Actually, your Leafkin got... taps for uh, for two green now. Yes. Right, because you have enough creatures? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, but I only need one mana for Zimone right. to play. Gotcha. Didn't All right. Didn't get a spiral in your hand or something. I wish. All right, so now I will on top. Good evening, John. Upkeep and draw. Please be something good. John! No. So I will play an island for turn. Oh, shit. Aramis. <laughs> You're right. I should have sacked it because I could play island land from my graveyard. Brought it back. Done it again. Shit. Oh, big punt. That was what right. I should have done. Uh, <laughs> we're on game two, John. Uh, Zakama went off game one. We're in game two, and it's a much more stable board state right now. All right, I'm going to tap Simic Growth Chamber to play Coil and Oracle. And we're all going after Aramis. <laughs> I'm going to look at my top card. If it's a land, nope. So I'm going to put this into my hand. I'm going to save that. Uh, and then I am going to pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. Draw for turn. And a crypt. Somehow figures a way to go infinite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to combat. Um, Steve, I will attack you with a tolly. I'll take six. Okay, trigger. Shit! Everybody exile the top card of your no! library. Yes, you serious... <laughs> Avenger oh, of Zendikar. Avenger of Zendikar, you fucking... Fuck! Oh, oh, land of all mine. the things. <laughs> oh. I didn't think oh, about I that. I should have... Oh, I should have found a way to put that to the bottom. Damn it! Um, I have an Avenger of Zendikar somewhere. Well, I can't Oh. Uh, hey, Nick, he's playing with your Eristic study. <laughs> he's still bitter. So, so, do this. so you're graduating the ninth. Are you excited? He's not hearing me. Oh, and Nick, These get a are... fucking haircut. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> These are exiled. Oh, that's no fun. All right, so I'm going to cast... <laughs> I'm going to use an emblem here. Everything. This is going to be the Avenger of Zendikar. <laughs> How big is he? He's a 7-7, seven, seven, right? Or a 5-5? Five, five? He's a 5-5. Five, five. Man, I get plant tokens. Oh, that's gross. You get eight of them. I get eight plants. Do I he... have plants? Damn, he popped off. Yeah. Oh, and my card has to be revealed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, then. All right. I'm suddenly okay with this. <laughs> so there's a plant token. How big is the thing going to be? <laughs> Large, Out huge. The cards that are not in your deck. <laughs> what is that card? <laughs> and then it's minus a body of research. Nine, nine. He, oh. gets, he gets a creature of power toughness equal to the number of cards in his library. Okay. So get that, get that. Oh, and I get a Rhystic Study. Oh, really? Well, 22 cards. So, yeah, it'll be a 78-78. Uh, well, that'll be the Rhystic Study. Then I'll put Hexproof on that. <laughs> um, so I got... then I will go ahead, second main. I have six, seven. And cast Nyx Bloom Ancient. Where'd you get oh, Yep. Oh, is that a different version of that, or is that the he, same? No, he, he physically casted it. Oh, okay. Now. I love that card right. so much. And, I have uh, a pass turn after that. All right. Let's see what I can do. Untap, keep, and draw. All right. Uh, I'm going to play a Phyrexia's Core. Did you cast a Rhystic Study, Aramis, by the way? I did cast did. a Rhystic okay. Study. I'm going to pay two for you Mind Stone, didn't? and I'm going to you discard pay for the Rhystic Study? I will not, and I'm going to draw. <laughs> Seriously, this... you know what, Aramis? Get a recording of Pam saying, will you pay for Rhystic Study? <laughs> I'll put <laughs> it on the soundboard. I'll also get one for, for... Sensei's Divining Top. I'm going to discard Darksteel Citadel and draw a card. Pay for Rhystic Study? Nope. I'm going to okay. activate Ozgear. I'm going to exile the um, Citadel, get two Citadels. That's good value right there. I'm going to yeah, trigger no Quicksmith Genius, discarding Palladium Mer and drawing a card. And Jesus. then I'm going to do it again, discarding a Plains, drawing. Okay. This would have helped a while ago, but it's a little late now. Uh, I can deal with the Nyx Bloom. And I plan on doing that. Uh, Dark Steel Mutation on the Nyx Bloom. Heroic Intervention. Uh, with that on the stack, I'm going to Crows and Grip. The Nyx Bloom Ancient. That'll do it. I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with it. Uh, I'm going to pay one. I'm going to activate top. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you both pay one for a Rhystic Study? <laughs> yeah, you guys no. pay for the Rhystic Study? <laughs> I pay one for my Rhystic Study. I'm not paying for it. Okay, I'll draw a card. All right. I'm going to have to put that on top. On I was saving that for Will's uh, Nyx Bloom, but you played one, and I had to get rid of yours because you're scarier. Understandable. Right. Thank you. Pay one, untap Oz gear. Because I could have attacked last turn. You know, I'm I'm playing friendly with you guys. We all have a target. <laughs> Benson, stop your pity bullcrap. <laughs> two. Well, and Nick, I went off on him last game. I'm gonna get two get copies. Get to see that. So. Get uh, a with the trigger on this back and this trigger, I'm gonna discard. Um, discard myriad landscape. Draw a card. Discard yeah. Temple of the False Guards. Yeah, God, draw a card. And then I get to search for two basic lands from my deck and put them into my hand. Yeah, so, Steve, I know. noticed on, uh, I think it was Hall or Quay's uh, Facebook, I'm like, you and Justin both have got, like, 80s mullet hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Yeah, not, they have yet to get it approved to do a haircut trip or have someone brought here. Oh, jeepers. Jeepers. All right, um... After all that, I think I'm done. I can't do much else. I got no mana left. These are in my hand. All right. Untapping. Upkeeping. And drawing. Shocker. That's going to my hand. Next card up. Ooh. Well, I'll take that card. Right. Okay. Should I do this? I should do this the right way. Oh, shit. I can't because I don't have any blue mana. So I have to. Damn it, I don't want to do it. Well, I guess it makes sense. Just gonna play Mystic oh, Sanctuary. No Tapped. Yep, it does come in. Oh shit, so that's still no good to me. 
Yeah, it's going to come in tapped. Um, I'm going to return. No, you, you don't return anything. Oh, that's right. It comes in tapped. Shit. And it would have gone on top of your library anyway. Yeah, it was going to go on top of my library to protect the tribe yeah. of Elysian Grove. Um, so you gain four life. Yes. And then I'm going to gain mana. That's what I wanted to do. That's right. Okay. I'm going to play Field of the Dead. You already played that. Comes oh, yeah, in, got to tap. That comes in tapped. However, here come Seven Zombie Dead Token. Man. And I gain mana. Uh, Omnath Trigger also gives you plus one, plus one counters. Yep, I get to put lanes. two plus one counters on two creatures. On two. So I'll put one on Mr. Ancient and one on Locus of the Royal himself. With four mana available. Oh, can I do it? Do I have enough? Yes. Yes, I do. Because that trap. Holy shit, that taps for six. Yeah, taps yep. for six mana, yeah. <laughs> okay. Three okay. red and three green. I just don't have three blue. Shit. All right. But you need three visits in there. We can. He has crucible of words out. He could sack the Naya and then bring him back. Oh, he that's right. right. I almost did. I almost forgot that, Nick. Thank you. Yeah, but you yeah. already played your two lands for a turn. Yeah, but this brings him and puts him out anyway. It does, but not uh, not islands. No, but it will let me do four damage to people. Put a plus one counter on something, and I shuffle my library, which means you don't get dryad. Yeah, right. that. That makes and yeah, so you I'm just gonna better do hope that. that whatever you shuffle into is not worse than that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take my four now. Yeah, now everybody's four. gonna take four. Woo, four damage. And I'm gonna float the two white because I don't think I could tap it for its own. Uh, I'm gonna say all our board states actually look pretty threatening. Is it not basic? mine? Yes. Yours is developing into something, no. though. Yours can blow up out of nowhere, too, so... I'm still wary of you. I just It's good to see Steve back, just saying. Yeah, but my new work schedule, I work 4 p.m. to midnight, so... That's starting next week. So I get another zombie. You get two more zombies, right? Because you get two lands? No, just one, I think. Search your library for basic mountain, forest, or plains. Put it on the battlefield. Oh, one tapped. of each. Oh, okay, one one of them. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was two lands for some reason. I was thinking a myriad landscape. Yeah, if it was... Does Nick hear the news? I don't think Nick heard the news yet. No, Nick. Big news. What? I'm officially engaged. Finally! <laughs> two you told me this. how you were going to do it so long ago. I didn't think it was going to happen anytime soon. Well, I got my great-grandmother's ring, so... <laughs> the 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 crazy thing is I didn't have to get it resized. There you go. Providence. What's that top card, Benson? Yeah, what is that top? Oh, that's a Raugrin Triome. Can I cycle Which... that? Because it says I can no, it's not land. in your hand. Oh. It's not in your hand. Yeah. So three. Now I have I'll a question. For you. <laughs> yes. When Essex Factor Bloom goes off. Does it have to be my creature I choose, or does it have to be? Can it be any creature on the board? It's any creature on the board, I believe. Any creature. Oh. Yeah. And it's not oh, targeted. Nice. Yep. So you can, you can target. Honest. You can you can get something that's hexproof or protection from green or blue. You can grab whatever you want. Oh, that's pretty cool. This so, is my yeah. first time playing this deck. So Avenger of Zendikar is still a target. Or Nyx Bloom Ancient. Where's the comma? The comma's legendary, though. Oh, I don't have second. Legendary? I, well, I would lose if I make, say, I make like three creatures, it would lose two right. of them. Right. I got you. I got you. We'll make three Nyx Blooms. Yeah, you know, multiply your mana by 27. I'm floating, I'm floating <laughs> two white. I hate that it's multiplicative and not additive. I'm floating three yeah. Red. That's like the worst part of it. It's multiplicative. I guess they figured it's like if you cast one, you should win the game on your next turn, probably. Yeah, but it's multiplicative. Like, come on. Uh, 
Karametra, and he is a creature, I do believe, because he's one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's a creature. Do you pay one for the uh, Rhystic Study? Sure. Got plenty. I had, like, four red float. I've got, yeah, I've got three. I, I got I four red ask. floating. Yeah, yeah, no. I have to ask, you know. It's all good. Just the, mm. It's just the, uh, you know, the trigger. I'm with you on that. <laughs> I hate you so much, Aramis. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's not my Rhystic study. <laughs> I know, but I've heard it so much between Aunt, Steve, and Benson already that, like, once I hear it now, I'm just like, I'm so over it. <laughs> well, if you play my um, my uh, Thrasios desk deck, I have the um, Esper Sentinel, Mystic Grimora, and Rhystic study in that deck, so it's like I got three cards. Hey, you gonna pay for any of these three? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm going to spend my one green, that. my two white, and three. So I think I got one white. Ooh, Marari's so. Wake. Yep. Oh, okay. look. You know, you double. You that one? Might as well. <laughs> so your land's now tapped for four. Yes. And. It's interesting. It's four, not six. I know. <laughs> Got to keep that yeah. in mind. Oh, and no, I didn't play a land. It's because the land's not adding. I did play a third land. So. Man, like Marari's. If the land was adding the land, it would be multi it would be multiplied. Right. But since it's the enchantment adding it, it's different. Like there are enchantments that say your land now produces this. Instead. Ooh, yeah, and then that would that Those would change it. Yep. Get six. Steve, did you see the um the ruling of what happens to Urza Saga if there's a Blood Moon in play? No, Turn. you didn't. What happened? So, it becomes a... It loses the Urza type. Yeah. becomes a Mountain Saga, because it's still an enchantment. Um, it keeps whatever counters are on there, and any abilities that those counters would have given it, like the tapping for mana or making constructs. Yeah. However, that's all irrelevant, because it gets sacrificed as a state-based action, because it's a Saga without any Saga... Without any chapter abilities. So it has counters equal to or less than the uh, uh, equal or to or less than the number of chapters on it. Jesus. Or equal to equal to or greater than, I mean. Oh, by the way, that's my turn. I'm not gonna swing. Just get sacrificed? It gets sacrificed, yeah. Alright. So on You know what? Actually that with one of my floating mana, I'm gonna switch. Turn into a mountain there we go. Stop no, all the that's my turn. Because right. because it's the counter because it's the counters that were put on it that give it that make it gain the ability. They're both layers, but the way that that one works, it gets applied after it gets changed into a mountain, so it gains mm. the abilities. But it's all irrelevant because it's a saga without chapters, and the saga without chapters gets sacrificed because any number of counters on it are equal to or greater than the number of chapters. I got it. All right. So I will tap one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. To play Essex Fractal Bloom. Pay the one? I will not pay the one. I will draw a card. I feel like we've all been making a mistake by letting him draw cards. It's always <laughs> a mistake to let the Rhystic Study player draw a card. You know? yeah. You're not the Rhystic Study player, though. You just happen to have it in play. <laughs> I know, but and that makes me the Rhystic Study player. Because <laughs> I am no longer and, the Rhystic uh, Study player, because he's playing with my damn card. But technically, I'm playing with Nick. I like to remind him of that every once in a while. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's cold. I could either bring my token producing deck that just goes nuts, or I can bring my other deck after this. I don't know. I really don't have anything else to do, so I'm going to tap three. And I'm just going to play the Bio Visionary. He's going to fucking... I got nothing for him to do. I got blockers. I'm ready to block. <laughs> I don't pay the one. I got card. no mana open. All right. Oh, you sneaky little devil. I see what you're doing. And and I will pass turn. Why well, I've got one <laughs> card in hand, and it's not the card I need. Tap, draw. It's a calm that takes me out next turn. <laughs> going to play a forest. That's going to trigger the Avenger of Zendikar. Put a plus one, plus one counter on all my plants. I'm going to tap nine. Zakama! Um, Bam! Raw. Raw. Somebody, Raw. Somebody interact with that. Somebody win. interact with it. <laughs> so, any, any any interaction? None. I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay, I'm going to untap. the game. There's a chance we lose here. I'm going to pay three. I at least destroy the Swiftfoot boots. No, you're not. 
in response, I'm going to pay three, destroy the Swiftfoot boots. Fuck. <laughs> and then I'm going to destroy the Nyx Bloom Ancient. Oh. How he could... oh He's doing it before the resolve. It's an, en it's yeah. an enchantment. Oh, damn. And then I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to attack Steve again with a Tali. Uh, in response, before the trigger, I'm going to activate top to draw a card. Sure. And I'm going to put the top on top of the deck. Oh, you're going to give me Sensei's Divining Top? <laughs> oh, are you yes, serious? Oh, my God. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, I am. So everybody exile the top card of your library. Rogue and Giant. Top. top is all yours. All right, I get the top, and I get a far seek, which I'm going to use. I'm right, glad my... you didn't get the other card. I'm glad I did that, because the other card would have been worse. There would be no killing you if you got that card. I, I'm glad I took that risk. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want? Grab two land spells. You took another land from me. Um, they're stopping from still. Yeah. Okay, tapped my lands now. They're all tapped. I'm just getting ready for my turn. There's nothing else I can do here. How much? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, seven, eight. He still has plenty of devotion. I'm still trying to take that devotion away from indestructible. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to be it for me. I think I have to discard the hand size. So. Damn. All right. You done? Let me just double check. Need a reliquary tower in your deck. I'm going to discard an Arcane Signet. And I'll pass. Mm. All right. I'm going to untap. And I'm going to take a Hail Mary. I need to know the total toughness of all your blockers, Aramis. Um, it's got 9 9. 16, 16, 23, 32, 37, 41. 41. Okay. That's the number I got to hit. You're going to try to and take your head. Yeah, I'm going to try to kill him. Nice. If I can. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I... I don't think I have enough ways to untap everything to get there. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm going to really consider this here. Because I can give this guy double strike and I can pump him like no tomorrow. I have a total of uh, 12 creatures in play that are untapped. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be a weird thing. I'm gonna sack welding jar just to give say Put a regeneration thing. shield on yeah. something. Yeah, and I'm gonna bring back the welding jar. So I get two copies, but I trigger a quicksmith. I see you're, you're um, digging for something. Yeah, I'm digging. He's digging. I'm gonna discard Norn's Annex, draw a card. I'm gonna discard Unstable Obelisk, draw a card. I'm gonna play a mana crypt. Oh, and I took six. Let me. Hey, the one? No. I'll draw. I'll let you draw. I'm going to pay two. Give all my stuff indestructible. Nice. Pay the one? Nope. I'm going to pay four. Day of Judgment. Ooh. Boom. Destroy all creatures. And boom, boom goes, goes the dynamite. dynamite. Do you pay the one? I do not pay the one. Let me pay that four correctly. I can use that back. I'll tell you oh, what. Atali did work. Yes. It did. Um, oh, I'm going to pay one that. untap Osgear. I'm going to pay four. I'm going to play Duretti. Pay the one? I will not. I will. I got one. Okay. Pay the one. Now this is tapped. That. Um, I'm gonna plus two Duretti. Right. There's no artifacts in my graveyard I want right now, right? No, maybe I want to minus him. Yeah, I'm gonna minus him. I'm gonna sacrifice an artifact, one of the wellsprings, go get a basic from my deck, and I'm gonna go bring back an artifact from the graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Nor that. Norn's Annex. And I will go get a basic. Mountain from my deck. And I will go to combat attacking Aramis for seven. This I have to take the seven. Four of which is commander. Wow. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four from Osgear. All right. All right.
right. Well, let's see what I can do here. Oh, I had no idea that card was coming. Neither did I. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm going to play Authority of the Consoles. What is Authority I mean, of the Consoles? None consult of you do? blame me for that Wrath of God, correct? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. I don't want. Oh, it's uh, creatures my opponent's control under battlefield tap, and I gain a life when it happens. Cool. Uh, I'm then gonna go ahead and gross spiral. You pay the one for either of those? No. Draw a card. Draw a card. Oh, I could play a land from. That's right. Now I have panorama. I'm going to play Naya Panorama. I'm pretty confident that's just game for me. So, which is nice. And then, oh, creates a field. That's why. I was like, why was I worried about that? Creates a zombie. Uh... See, unlike these two, I won't kick you when you're down. So I have a green and a white <laughs> floating. No blue. No blue. That's my problem. You've been hurting for blue all game. Oh, wait. I had blue. No, I do have a blue floating, too, because I play the growth spiral. So I do have no, a you blue cast floating. You cast the growth spiral. Oh, yeah, because you have you have Marari's Wake. That's right. Steve, so. don't lie to him. You do hit people when they're down. Yes. <laughs> When they're playing a certain commander, I will. Yeah. Nick, you know what I'm talking about. Which commander? <laughs> uh, your black-red one? Again. That black-red one. I'll kick you when you're done when you're playing that. I'm going to cast Double. my commander. Why, you Why is everyone so scared of him? No. I don't have good cards for him. Yeah, but Tybalt's the good card. <laughs> I didn't see that. Well, did you? Did you pay? No, no. Okay. Uh, draw a card off of that. Oh, that's freaking beautiful. Okay, good. Evolving wilds for life. Crack it. Didn't you play the Naya Panorama from your graveyard? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, you're right. You did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so you I can't play the evolving play. wilds. I don't play it. Yep. Okay. So never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. Um, oh, that's a, that's what I can do. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Tap Field of the Dead. Sack that. Go find Get another it. lion. Yeah, gain four life at least. There you go. And I will bring in a forest. Comes in tapped. Let's say basic. Yeah, it has to be basic. Yeah. Okay. They stopped. They stopped doing that after like the first Ravnica set when they realized people were grabbing Shocklands and duels with this. Oh stuff. no 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 no! That's right. Okay. Whenever your creature, whenever I cast a creature spell, that's how I got another one. I get to another Forester plane as well. So. Oh, from Karametra. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that so one get, is get... going to be obviously. And I don't think it comes in tap. It does come in tap, so I don't have to pay for it. Uh, forest or plain. I'll bring in a breeding pool. There you go. Get your four mana. Yes, and that does give me the four mana. I knew there was a way I was getting the four mana. <laughs> and a second zombie. And a third zombie. You're right. And you a said. third zombie. No, yeah. I've only cast two lands. This or yeah, three. You're right. It was three. Yeah, yeah. that was your third land that entered. It was the panorama, then you sacked it, and you cast a creature, so that's three. Yes. I gotta find a third zombie, though. I have a third zombie somewhere. Right now, this will be a third zombie. And doesn't get uh, Naya Panorama get a forest and a plane? No, no it's that's, or... that's Cross and Verge. Oh, it's, yeah, it's Cross and Verge. Okay. Yeah, and I, I was originally thinking of Myriad Landscape. And no, I don't pay for Rhystic Study on any of that. Um, but now I, I think there was one, I already drew all that. Five, six, seven. He's back to being a creature. Yep. And six seven or something like that? Seven six? Seven six. Six seven. Six seven, okay. Big enough. 
Big enough. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. You'd think all that mana would be able to do something cool for me. Oh, no, it's a 7-8 because of uh, Mirari. Oh, right, 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 right. So, and you, everybody's wide open except Steve, but, yeah, sorry, Aramis, I got to go 7 at you. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, other than me, you're, you're the only one that, that's really doing other crazy stuff. I mean, Steve's doing crazy things, but, like. This, this hurts my heart, guys. It fucking hurts my heart. Oh, you're, by the way, your mana goes away, yeah. yeah. Like, that's just like, I got no play. I got no action here. Nothing. <laughs> Passing turn? Passing turn. Oh, man. All right. On tap. Clear board. What? Believe in the heart of the cards. Wrong game. An island. Don't be doing no Yu-Gi-Oh shit. All right. I, I will tap you, though. I will tap eight, and I will bring out Fractal Bloom. Cool beans. Different and zombie. Haha. Uh -huh. Pass. Yeah, we'll untap. We'll draw. All right, let's see what we got here. Sanctum of Eternity. Soul Ring. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's enough. Gonna... Uh, do you go infinite? I don't know, not yet. I don't think so. Hold on. Because he can't. So that's one. I have one green floating. For a comma. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Untap my lands. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm one mana short. Okay. Um, I am. How... Yeah. I am, however, going to. I have eleven mana. Oh, by the way, they come in tapped. Sakama comes in tapped. That's fine. Okay, gain a life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay four for a Sky Shroud claim. Oh, Access Fractal came in tapped too, so you gain a life. Yep. Oh, and did you pay pay the one for the Ristic Study? I did not. I'm tapped out. <laughs> right, so I, I drew an extra card there. Don't even know what it is. I'm going to get a couple of forests. Next turn, he has infinite, so we either kill him now. Yeah, we... It, Dog pile on Aramis, boys. <laughs> That's it. We got a new staff member that plays Magic, so we, uh, me, Justin, and Cone played Magic yesterday and today. Oh, who, who's the staff member? Uh, the new... I forget his name, because it's just... I've been not really caring about the new staff, but... <laughs> it's the... Temple went to the Rex, so we got a new CSIO person. Oh, nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shock in the Temple Garden. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, he was probably very excited to see all the magic cards. Yeah, don't forget to give all the cards back to them, dude. I'm going to pay four for a Vatswood Surge. Oh, shite. This is about to go infinite. Next turn, he has infinite. Yeah. I got rid of again. We gotta do more than just get rid of Zakama. We gotta get rid of that land. Or I'm get working. Rid of I'm working on an Atla Palani deck that has a Realm Razor in it and Ashnot's uh, altar, and I'm thinking of a good combo. I, I think people won't like it. I can get it off for Seedborn Muse. Oh shit! Uh, oh, fuck. All right, you done? Uh, I got a discard to hand size. Well, there um, goes that idea. Oh, uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could discard ten cards. It only untaps his lands, yeah, though, right? Cards. Every all my permanents. Oh, until all, all of his permanents. permanents. Got it. Got it. You know, uh, and gonna... if only he had a way to then use that mana he untaps to destroy things. <laughs> How much red mana do you have? One, two, two three. three. I have three red mana three. right now. Okay, perfect. So I need to know. Uh, two cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. I'll discard that. So, Celestia so Sanctuary, Rampant Growth, and Forest. Oh, Seaboard comes in tap, by the way. Okay, gain a life. So, with your untap, Steve, I untap with you. Yep. Oh, fuck. Uh, who wants to call the Mana Crypt trigger on my side? 
Uh, even. Yo. Please don't get it. I haven't gotten it all night. I don't want you to lose Odd. it. Odd. Ah, there you go. Odd. I will draw. We're all friends okay. now. <laughs> all right. Um, I want to get this out to find an answer, but I don't know yet. All right. First things first, I'm going to tap mana uh, crypt for two. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, pay one and sack it. So I have one floating. I'm going to activate Ozgear. I'm going to get two mana generate crypts. It. <laughs> oh, yep. Damn. So That's I have it. one floating, two mana crypts. I'm going to get a trigger from Quicksmith. Uh, I'm going to discard. Um, grinder, draw a card. Oh. No, it doesn't. Not even okay. close. Uh, I'm going to discard a mountain, draw a card. I'm going to untap Ozgear. I'm going to activate Ozgear, tapping the two mana crypts, a so mountain, and the Phyrexian core to get two copies of Rune Grinder. I'm that going wheels to. When, that wheels when it dies, right? Yeah. Oh, you e may. You may wheel. Yes, I may each... wheel. And no, it's I'm all of us. To... Yeah, we each of us may wheel. Right. Mm -hmm. This guy's untapped. Uh, by the way, all the plus two bonuses from sacrificing are going to Quicksmith, so I've got plus four on him right now. Right. Oh, please, um, wheel. Now it's plus six. I'm going to sacrifice it, and um, each player may discard their hand and draw seven cards. I am going to do this. I am going to do it. I'm keeping my seven. Five, six, seven. I'm going to keep my four, I think. Um, I'm going to cast a Jeweled Lotus to discard a card and draw a card. You get the one for Risk Study? I do not. Discard Icker Wellspring, drawing now, a card. Now, you know creature cards are coming in tapped, right? And I'm getting a shit ton oh, of yeah. life. Uh, I only played one creature. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the, it, uh, the copy... It's gonna the copies are creatures, ready. too. That, that counts. I'm discarding two and drawing two? Yeah. Alright, I can stop. I can stop the um, Zakama. Okay. Uh, I guess got to get enough mana to do it. Or stopping Seaborn. <laughs> Stop Seaborn. Seaborn no, is the Zakama is more... Well... Seaborn equals Zakama. Can anyone destroy Zakama? Because I can only stop it from being cast, or I can or I can kill it. I can't do both. I can't. Uh, I have nothing. I, I can possibly take care of Zakama. Okay, I'm going to cast Dranith Magistrate. Uh, my opponents cannot cast spells from anywhere other than their hand. Oh, sure. shit. Wait a second. You can still kill it right now. That means can we can't cast our it. commanders? If they're in the yeah. command zone, yeah. they're in the command zone. Oh, wow. I'm going to pay that three. That seems not legal. Uh, commander. That's two, three. Wheel of Fortune. Everyone discard their hand and draw seven cards. Well. Mm. Aramis, you want to draw a card for a stick study? I'm going to draw a card first. And then see if I, and then see if I want to still respond to that. And let me get my hand back. Uh, it's in the graveyard. Lose my cards. Now I can't do anything Ooh. with that. I guess just to, just as a preemptive thing, before the before the wheel resolves. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Boros Charm and make my permanence indestructible. Okay. And then I will discard my hand and draw seven cards. All right. All right. It's card and one, two, three. Four, They're just indestructible, five, right? Six, They're indestructible. Yeah. Uh, Zakama is exiled. I will return him to my hand. Yeah. Uh, I am going to then pay one for Soul Ring, and then I'm going to pay that Soul Ring. Oh, by the way, do you pay any of the any of the any of the Rhystic Study on any of those? No. So it's three more cards I draw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and with those, I get to discard. I'm just going to discard. Two lands and draw two more art and two more cards. Uh, I'll play a bauble. I'm not paying for it. I'm going to discard Sacred Foundry, draw a card. Okay. And yeah, I guess I just passed my turn there. I got nothing else I can do. All right. I went through a lot of cards there. Untap. <laughs> Upkeep. I have some things I can do here. This is good. Obviously, 
Uh, blue mana is my friend. <laughs> Alright, so I get a zombie zomb. And let's see what else happens. Oh, and I gain four life. Wait, I did that wrong. That's okay. Board state looks stupid. It's board states are ding dong ridiculous right now. Uh, gonna cast Soul Ring. The other one? No. I will draw a card. No. And I'm just going to activate Bobble. Uh, I'm going to choose myself to see the random card from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to draw a card at the end of the next turn's upkeep. Oh, let me go look at that random card, huh? Let me go see. I'm going to look at this one. Ah, okay. <laughs> spicy. Yeah, very spicy. The land. So all he has is Seaborn Muse, right? And Soul Ring, that's it. And he has the common in his hand, unfortunately. Right, but I'm going to swing for what Seaborn Muse's power? Two. So Or toughness is? Four. All right, so seven, 12, three, six, nine. So 20, 21. I'll block um, Karametra. Okay. And take... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to 6. I did my part, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's see if we can do anything else. Uh, you have a 6-6, six, six, don't you? He's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, 4-4. Four, four, four. Four. So he was a 5-5. Five, five. Find, five, find two more damage, man. 5, <laughs> 8, 11, 14. Yeah, so he's 14, down to yeah. 6. And All right. turn. Find two All more. Right. Actually, wait a minute. Does this say creature I control? On tap. Damn it, it does. Fuck. <laughs> uh, keep draw. I don't want that. So I will play a command beacon for land. Okay. Then I will tap seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to play Myriad Construct Kicked. Oh shit! Um. So. In response, I'm gonna cast Worldly Tutor. Search my library for a creature, put it on top. I believe this means we die, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I did what I could. Shit. Non-basic lands. I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to grab Zerta the Dawn Waker. Oh, and Miri and comes, gonna... in, comes in tap, by the way. And uh, do you pay for Ristic Study? I do not pay for the Ristic Study. And your study. Dawnbreaker it's... comes in tapped, Aramis. It's not going into play. It's going on top of my deck. Oh, okay. So I get to draw it because it's because uh, after the World of Tutor resolves, he doesn't pay for Ristic Study. Ah. All right, so how many people have non-basic lands? How many non-basic lands? You have uh, one, one, two, two three. One, two. I have four non-basic lands. Uh, I'm I have counting one, mine two, now. Three, I have two, three, four. Three, so. four eight. I have six. Six have basic. Six. So eight, six. Woo. That's big. Yeah, you have four from me. So four, four, that's eight. And, I have, and you have four from me. And then I have six from him, so that's... A lot of counters. He's large. 14 counters. <laughs> nah, yeah, 14 counters, so he's uh, 18. All right. Attack him uh, down to blue. And I will pass. Untap. Drop a turn. 
Well, gentlemen, it's been nice knowing you. It has. Temple of the False God. I can hear the Titanic music now. Zendikar Resurgent. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, double your mana. That's another counterspell. I'm reading what it does. Oh, Zendikar Resurgent is whenever I tap a land for mana, add one oh, mana that just... land produced. And whenever you cast, and whenever you cast a spell, you draw a card. I draw yeah. a card. Yeah. yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah, Save everything have... for the comma. He has Sublime Epiphany. <laughs> I can, I can live what with that. What are the odds? What are the odds I've got Sublime Epiphany? So, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, one floating. It's a comma. Nothing I can do. Okay. All right. I will tap Growth, Simic Growth Chamber, Arcane Denial. Okay. Gets countered. I'm going to keep him in the graveyard. Interesting. Pay two green, Eternal Witness. I also draw a card from casting a creature spell from Zendikar Resurgent. Yep. So Eternal Witness returns the comet to my hand. <laughs> Does two, he have four, enough to cast it again? Six, eight, ten. Floating another mana. Actually, that, that I only have one mana floating now. Is the comma again? If you got Great. the epiphany, you got to use it now, man. I don't. Okay, on tap. And I have infinite mana. Why do you have infinite mana? Because I can pay two mana and tap the Sanctum of Eternity to return returns a comma to my hand. Uh, so if you had a way to kill it before he untap, that would be an option as well. You have to respond to it. That You could do rift. that. Cyclonic Rift I'm cool with. So well, no, that does that work, or can he still go infinite? Because I have to wait till it's on the field before I can do anything. Everything would go to his hand. Everything right. would go to his hand. But still, right. wouldn't he'd he be able to still untap. untap? He'd still untap. I he'd don't know. He'd still be able to untap not. everything in instant speed. He he yeah, might. I, I have. I mean, I, I had a, I had enough mana to float like another six mana. Okay, well, cast a do do something. I'll respond to it with with him with. Right, so hang on. So let me, let's 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 back it up then. Yeah. Well, no, 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 because I can't do anything else. I, I got I to make. I got to see how much oh, lands I have untapped. Yeah. So two, four, five, six, seven. Present a Carver Surgeon. I have to wait till it, it. All your two, land untaps four, anyway. Six, eight, ten. For Zakama, that got countered. I cast the Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness to bring back Zakama. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's another mana floating for Zakama. So he's in play. So all your mana untap would untap. Trigger, untap triggers on the stack. Right. Oh, so I can respond to the untap trigger. Yeah, you can, but my stuff, my stuff still all, my stuff still untaps. Right, but oh, so he'd be able to cast it again, but he wouldn't. I can yeah. just cast it again. Right. So yes, I, that wouldn't matter. So what yeah, would the infinite mana matter. do, though? He'd be able to eventually. I'd have I, infinite. I'd have infinite red, green, and white mana. I'd be and able he could to draw every as many cards as you need. Yeah, because of Zendikar's resurgent. Yeah, but do you have any way to respond to this as if I eventually move everything to the hand? Like, you play You'll it. have enough mana. I can have enough mana to just cast it all again. I'll have infinite yeah. mana. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll literally have infinite mana. There's nothing we can do with that unless you're destroying it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do it in response to me returning it to my... Like, yeah, because all have to I kills got is a comma and in lightning response to returning to my hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... So between that it. great hand and Zerta Dawnwaker, I'm drawing my, basically my entire deck, and I have Finale of Devastation to yeah. finish everybody off. But everything and is still kind of intact. Yeah. Actually, you know no, what? I might. I, destroyed, I, might have, I destroyed the authority. I have one more chance at this, guys. In response to casting of Zakama, we actually do have one more chance. Okay. Let's I'm going to pay one because I have one floating. I'm sacrificing my last Ruin Grinder. We get to wheel again. So I'm just starting my hand. So, in response to that, wheeling. I would then cast a clonic, right? Because I don't want that well, to go away. Well, no. No, no. I think oh, no. you want that to go away. I think you want to find an answer. You need mana untapped for an answer. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. don't forget, I get to tap for three. Yeah. All my mana is untapped, so I would get to tap for. Oh yeah, if anyway. you want, if you want a cyclonic rift anyway. Ooh, no, no, never mind. Guess. Let's do it this way. This is better. I'm gonna yeah. wheel it. <laughs> One, two, so, three, four. I got five, nothing. I'm just letting you six, guys know that. Seven. I got I've got nothing. a path to exile. Um. Well, that still untaps it. 
Oh, yeah, he actually, it resolves, and to the untap trigger, you can path it. But no, he can bounce it to his hand. He has enough mana to bounce it. So he should do that, and then I could sort to Plowshare? Wait, how much, yeah, how, how much does it cost to untap it? One or two? Two. Two? Oh, mm -hmm. so you don't have enough mana to bounce the comma right now. Right now, no, I do not have enough mana to bounce it. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you can path it in response to it hitting the battlefield. Right, so I would do that. Okay, yes. So in response and to, he has to shuffle it, And he has to shuffle his library. Path to exile. He has to look for a land and shuffle his library. Well, the, the sec. Well, if you're if you're path, yeah, if you path it, then yeah, it gets exiled. Yeah, yeah. So then he's still untapped. He still untaps, which sucks, but knows the comma to murder us all this instant because right. of Dranus. So I untap. And are you choosing not to look for a land? I discarded um, a great card. It hurts so bad. Actually, yeah, I will get a land so it untaps. Okay. Oh, but then you wow. would shuffle, right? <laughs> then I would shuffle, yeah. And is isn't the card on the top something you really, really love? <laughs> no, I already got oh. that card. Oh, okay. And anything Last he gets mana. still comes in tapped. Yeah, so like the Eternal Witness is tapped. Yes. So let's see what I can do here without my commander, because I can't do anything because of the Dranith Magistrate. Oh, by the way, I also draw a card because of uh, Ristic Study. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I missed I miss that because I already shuffled, so. Oh, Dranith Magistrate just kept us in safe zone. Mm -hmm. For now. For if now. He if he can, yeah, if he can kill the Dranith Magistrate, he gets himself back Thank God for that wheel, man. That was that saved our ass. Yeah, I, I totally forgot I was saving that wheel for the just in case no one had an answer. <laughs> I thought Cyclonic Rift was going to be it, but I, I prefer this. No. <laughs> yeah. Because I really don't want to lose two, the zombies. Three, four, five. Uh, Cyclonic Rift doesn't affect you. Six, seven. Oh, true. It's everyone but you. So I'm going to cast the Great Henge. Oh, fuck. Uh... Um, let's see. What can I do here? So I'll draw two cards for each creature that I draw. I will spend one, two, three, four, one green floating to cast Wayward Sword Tooth. That's going to come in with a plus one, plus one counter. And I will draw two cards. I will spend the floating and let's see. Uh oh. Sword to goes white. to tap. Yes. All of these guys are going to come in tapped, and yeah. Benson's going to gain a life for each one. Uh, I'm going to cast Garrick's Uprising, Ooh. which draws me a card because I have a creature with power four or greater. I'm going to spend. By the way, I love the new four. soul ring from the uh, thingy. Yeah, it is nice. Cast a Farhaven Elf. Oh, jeepers. So that's going to get a counter, and I'm going to get another land. And I'm going to draw two cards, so I'll do that first. I've got two mana crypt triggers on my turn. I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> that, oh, is kind of, that is kind of scary. I suppose I should have killed the Magistrate back when I had the chance. I completely forgot that Sakama had activated abilities when we were going through that sequence. Um, You didn't have the mana. At that point, it did. I was completely untapped. Yeah. It was after the, it was after the Seedborn Muse. It was during oh, that yeah. time after the Seedborn Muse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I still have the mana floating. I had a way to bring it back, but then I wouldn't have been able to wheel again. Tap two red for Rada, Heart of Keld. Oh, shit. Draw two cards. That works. Is Seedborn Muse still out there? No. no. Oh, thank Christ. Pay so not two white with a, so a white floating. Swords to Plowshares on the Dranith Magistrate. Oh, oh shit! You're and, obviously. Uh, I, I gain life, forget the land. I forgot that you one. Gain you life, gain life equal to its power. Okay, so I gain more life. <laughs> and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 
16. I have enough to cast a comma with mana floating. Oh, God. So I'm going to have three mana floating. Actually, two more, so I have five mana floating. Actually, Anyone I have, have another response? Floating. I got nothing. There's a comma yet again. While the untap is on the... Shit, no, I'm out of white. And I gain Fuck. two life. Do we all lose? I got no response. More... I got nothing. Have... I'm out. So everything untaps. And now he's infinite. You draw. Yep, you get a counter, infinite. draw one, infinite, done. And we're dead. Yeah, I'm going to finale devastation for a lot to get Seedborn Muse back just in case. Yep, that was game. That's yeah, a good game. <laughs> that was a good game. That, one, that, one took, that was a lot of back and forth. <laughs> well, it's 9 o'clock, so I think we'll go ahead and call it for tonight. We'll like to have got a third game in, but... I will definitely I mean, play I, a new deck next I, week. I'm up for another. I'm up nah, for another I game can't. right now. I'm good. I I can't. I have to. <laughs> um, but yeah. So what what did you think of Ozgear? It's good. I like this. It's a good deck. By the way, in my hand, I still had Swords to Plowshares, but I was out of white mana. Oh, I forgot to draw on the Arcane Signet, on the uh, Arcane Denial. Oh shit! Yeah. No, yeah. you draw on the next turn's upkeep. Right. Oh yeah, we never got to the next turn. We never yeah, got we never to the next no, turn. No, no, we didn't. One crazy turn. That was the longest turn in history. So, uh, here, I'm gonna change my shot. Uh, I don't want to hear that from you, who's had turns that go for like 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, you've had some pretty crazy turns yourself, sir. Yeah. All if right, anyone's guys. turns are long, it's Anthony. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's the reason we have the Jeopardy theme. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with us tonight, guys. We really had a great time. Ian, sorry we didn't get a game three. Um, he, I guess he took, he left work early and set aside the afternoon for this. I feel bad, but it's ah. like, you know what? Not for nothing. We don't get to play with Steve all that often. So he could, he'll be in, I'm sure next week. He's one of our higher end patrons. So, uh, if you want to be a part of the game, go to our discord.playedstalkerspodcast.com. A sure way to get in is becoming a patron. However, we, you know, on Tuesday morning, if we haven't filled the slots, we, you know, we'll usually keep one spot open for a non-patron to join us. So, uh, on that, Aramis, anything going on? Not much going on. I mean, MVP of that last game was definitely Atali getting me the Ristic Study. Yeah. And definitely, uh, we are still waiting on Bama to get me the recording of the show. Worst comes to worst, if I don't have it by tomorrow, I mean, because, you know, the guy's busy. I'll put up the episode. What happened was, is uh, I knew there was a reason we shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't use the OBS. OBS had double all of the sound effects. So all the sound effects were echoed. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, and it was such a great episode that the last thing I want to do is, you know, have it out there like that. But Bama said he got a recording, but I mean, he, he had to work late yesterday and he probably working late today. Cause he said he was going to try to get it done. So, uh, Bama, if you're out there, buddy, if you can get that to me, that'd be great. And Aramis, we have another podcast that wants to kind of hang out. So we might be having cool. guest stars for a while. Uh, otherwise, we will see you guys later. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for watching. We will be back Monday with the regular show. Tons to go over. Hopefully, Forgotten Realms uh, previews will start. And uh, with that, uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks again, Ian. Thanks, Vic. Thanks, St Steve. It's always cool to play with you, brother. Yeah, man. I always love playing with you guys. Congratulations on the engagement. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good week.